What up boys, girls and otherwise, more demo reviews coming your way. This one is from the final of IEM Cologne. We're looking at the first map of Inferno between FaZe and Na'Vi. I'm going to review it. I'm going to tell you all about what's going in, what's popping, and uh, you're going to listen and you're going to love it. All right, let's check this shit out. So what are we looking at here? We're looking at a pretty heavy app setup from Na'Vi. Um, previously, FaZe have been pretty apps heavy on their pistols against Na'Vi on Inferno. So I think this is a bit of a read. Um, I can't remember what event it was, but uh, it might have even been in the major. Um, they played Inferno first map, Na'Vi started CT side, and FaZe went for like an apps and kind of short play. Uh, Na'Vi were playing a retake setup and it was garbage, so it's unsurprising that they're going um, like a kind of double pit setup, going to kind of counter the short slash apps play. Looks like FaZe are going to hit the site. Anyway, there's no B wrap here. This is just five towards A. Um, Na'Vi are set up okay to deal with this. Nah, not with SDY getting blinded and wrecked. SDY has been super uncomfortable trying to play kind of pit. Um, I'm going to need to do something eggs every time it's switching. Oh, no, it's fine. Hang on. I'm just going to... I'm just doing this because um, sometimes the, like, auto-director... Well, it's not auto-director, but you know what I mean. Gets a bit scuffed. And when people die, um, the camera fucks up. Yeah, so, I mean, it was just SDY being fully blind and getting absolutely wrecked. Um, Simple was just swarmed in pit and there was nothing that really could do. The smoke cut off uh, the library guy from supporting. So it's a good hit and good utility from FaZe. Um, to ke keep an eye on SDY around sort of pit and as that A anchor. Um, a lot of the reason that Na'Vi's CT side on Inferno has, has suffered recently um, is because SDY is, is just super uncomfortable, I think, playing uh, like that pit anchor position. He swapped with Electronic, so Electronic can play Rotator. Um, yeah, see what you... Okay, no, we're fine. Sorry, it was... It's that thing where basically, like, it's like the camera zooms through the air quickly. Do you see when it changes like that, transitions? It's super scuffed. Um, and you'll lose... Like, when they're switching quickly, you'll lose kills and shit because of it. But we'll see how that goes. Uh, Simple looking for a cheeky little pick. It Simple does this a lot with the Deagle. Uh, yeah, he just gets double peaked and wrecked. Nothing he can do there. And that's the A-side gone. SDY and Pit, he would be lucky to get anything done here. Oh, he actually gets a kill, not too bad. Oh, and Electronic gets one. Okay, Nav, uh, FaZe really scuffed that hit. That was just two people uh, whiffing jewels there. Okay, that looks like they're going to recover it. Yeah, they did. Wow, that was hella scuffed though. Sorry, I'm just going to do this a bit more because... Um, sorry, I punched my microphone. While we're waiting for this to happen because, uh, yeah, it's kind of looking a bit scuffed. Cool. Right, we're just going to speed through this because there's nothing to this. Um, this round is completely over. So yeah, FaZe almost messed that hit up. Brokey and Carrigan just whiffing jewels that they should win, um, honestly. And that nearly made the round fall apart. Luckily, uh, the wrap coming round via long, coming via the archway, was, uh, was enough to get things done. Um, Bit shaky from FaZe there, though, to be perfectly honest. that That's not a round they'll be super happy with. That was comfortably theirs, and they nearly threw it. They gave Na'Vi a shot, even with, like, kind of very little in the back pockets. Na'Vi forced, though, so obviously now they're on pretty much full eco. Uh, a couple of upgraded pistols here and there. Simple's kept enough in the bank for an AWP. And we're just going to see a fairly default, if a little bit passive, spread from FaZe. I think they're uh, keeping a little eye out for any potential pushes. They clearly... Uh, <laughs> Overestimating Na'Vi. Na'Vi generally play very passive on their Inferno CT side, and it's part of the reason I don't really like Na'Vi's Inferno CT side right now. Um, I think they play too passively. I think they give up too much space. I think they let the T's be too comfortable. I mean, Inferno is one of those maps that you can operate via crossfires and, like, you know, rotations and, and you know, counting utility and kind of rotating and stuff based on that. This is an interesting boost from Na'Vi. See if it gets anything done. Yeah, it gets one. Not too bad. It's pretty good. Oh, two is way more than they should have got. And almost three. That's a dink. Oh, that Rops nade probably saves a round. 
Wow, that was way more than they ever should have got from that boost in RV. But the the phase, uh, the phase, the Rops nade, absolutely saves around there. Because Rops got dinked himself as well. SCY chucks the gun so that Perfecto can take it and save. SCY probably going to hang around looking for potentially some exits. Um, nope, he's recovered another Galil and he's going to run with it. Okay, so that's really good round for Na'Vi. The fact that they've recovered two rifles, a Galil, particularly the fact that they've recovered the AK is ginormous. There were obviously no other weapons. I don't know why Bit went back looking because there were no other weapons to recover. I guess he was kind of half-heartedly seeing if any of the phase members would come exit by his way and maybe he could pick up another gun, but... Right, so we got the all for simple, all power for brokey. Um, phase are not too bad in the bank terms. Like they got a little bit of money, so they could probably do some sort of force up if they lose this one. Uh, Navi, really, really nice for them to pick up those two rifles because that gives them um, a little bit of economy to work with. Probably in the next, they'll get a much better buy as a result. I'm assuming SCY and Bit will be able to drop some bits and pieces or at least get full utility belts. Bit is sectioned off here in Banana. Yeah, Bit's going to die. Yeah, Bit sectioned off by the utility there. Bit looked a little bit lost. Looked like he wasn't quite sure what to do. Um, and Perfecto didn't really have any way of helping him. I guess Perfecto maybe could have thrown a few flashes or something. But uh, yeah, Bit gets caught out on an island there. Free pick for FaZe. Really, really nice play um, by FaZe. Working Banana there. That was nice. The utility, like I said, sectioned Bit off so the Perfecto couldn't really support. Ooh, electronic, a little bit of sleep there. Yeah, never going to get away there, Carrigan. One for one, though. Actually, a two for one. Because, obviously, Brokey died uh, clean on the entry from Simple. Bit weird. That was a dry peak, right? There wasn't uh, a flash thrown out there by FaZe. Ah, Na'Vi, a loss, though. I don't really know. Well, I guess they lost Arch Control. But, yeah. I think one of the a site members needed to probably go hunting there perfecto shouldn't have left b in a 3v3 like that bit of a weird round this one a little bit scuffed oh he whiffs the molly yeah that's probably round done if perfecto gets that molly and flushes rain out for a duel he probably kills him yeah that's that's unfortunate so this is probably now too much for navi um Already a little bit ticked on the bomb. They do have a smoke to section off banana, which I think they've thrown. Yep. So Rops is now... Mm, Rops should probably be ready to come through that smoke. No, you can just play bomb timer. Okay. No, that's round gone. Simple will save his orb. I thought Rops was being a bit too passive there, but no, it was fine. The bomb timer was so far ticked that he could play passively. And uh, no worries. Right, so that's the CT timeout. Obviously, Na'Vi have not really come that close to winning any of these rounds so far. Um, obviously, only one of them, well, two of them were unequal pegging, so it's not the end of the world. But they're getting the timeout early. Um, maybe Blade spotted something. Okay, three towards A. They got two towards Shaw. I think Phase are pretty heavy on the brackets control and stuff. So you might see Na'Vi do these kind of like uh, porch setups a lot. Put an SDY on the boost. And they've got Electronic beneath him ready to support. So this is a pretty strong setup for what Phase are doing right now. Um, they're going to pop out of apps with three and then have a couple come out mid and short. It's a good flashbang, but this is a good setup. Yeah. Oh, Carrigan with a good entry, though. Very clean. Simple's there to support. Yeah, just trading out into getting the site. As, yeah, SCY gets nothing done in pit. See what I mean? Na'Vi were actually set up pretty well to kind of deal with that. But SCY getting absolutely nothing done on the hold. You need to get something done, man. When, when Electronic has already taken a lot of the uh, attention for you, you need to get something done there. I don't think SDY has been bad for Na'Vi at all. Quite the contrary. I think he's been pretty decent. But here, here, on in CT Inferno, he is lost, man. Really nice headshot from Twist. Another clean headshot from Twist, man. Twist is so good, man. Especially in, like, the, the really key scenarios when the pressure is on. Twist is so reliable for, for like, key frags and stuff. He's kind of... I don't think he's underrated because I think a lot of people, particularly after this Cologne final, were like singing his praises. But um, 
in general, I think Twist has gone under the radar a little bit with FaZe uh, at the start of the year, just because Brokey and Rops um, are kind of the ones who generally produce the bigger numbers overall. Um, but I think Twist is is um, is amazing. And I think Twist deserves a hell of a lot of credit, particularly, like I say, the impact he seems to have at the key moments. You know, you might see his overall impact rating might not be as... Yeah, this is going to be a straightforward round, I think, for FaZe. Navi are on the rotate pretty quick, but... Yeah, with that smoke, you'd have to come, like, straight through that. Yeah, he does, but only gets one. Um, ow. It doesn't matter. FaZe is still going to just go here. I wish Rops was looking a little bit more proactively for info but this is just how rops plays like if you look on the mini map he's so bloody passive towards a at the moment on his lurk he's about to bump into uh oh my god and he loses it yeah i think i i was really unimpressed with rops's play towards the back end of of the season um for phase i thought rops was um kind of struggling it felt like it feels like he's a bit more figured out now and so he's not really having the the big performances and and the impact anywhere near as much from his very passive lurking style. Like Rops is a you know, in the literal essence of the word, a baiter. Like he will literally bait his teammates. Like he will play super passive, let them die, and then try and activate later with like you know surprising them with his positioning and stuff. Um, but I think he's really struggled towards the back end of the year. I realise I basically fell asleep in that round. How the hell did FaZe lose that? Right, we're, we're actually going to go back because I was asleep that round. Talking about Rops' struggles. Okay, we're back. We're going to speed through this. But uh, yeah, I, I was asleep here. I should have uh, been paying more attention. So yeah, we get the bit frag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they trade out into this 4v3. Rops obviously loses his duel on the other side of the map. But what the hell goes on in the rest of this round? Okay, they slow it down a little bit. Perfecto. Okay, Simple gets a headshot on Brokey. Ah, Simple's Deagle saves the day. Okay, cool. And SDY obviously wins uh, on the other side of the map versus Rops. That, that's uh, a pretty key fight there, that Rops loses that. Um, yeah, I don't know. He needed, he really needed to, to win that fight, did Rops. Right, so this puts the phase economy not two in the bin. They got to take one on the chin, but they'll have an okay buy next. Uh, Navi obviously have a chance to build up a pretty decent bank now. So this is uh, a really important round, obviously for Navi to win because they weren't really on a buy there. So, I mean, they were on something of a force, but but you know, absolutely amazing that they won that. That swings the economy like right back round. Puts phase on a full Glock, so we'll probably just skip through. Phase uh, holding very passive. Group towards Banana. And they'll probably just run into Banana and try and get some shit done. Yeah, and they're just going to get mowed down. Yep. Okay. Straightforward. Okay. So. Is Bit going to hold on to that MP9? Go for a Brucey bonus? Because Na'Vi could build up a really nice economy and recover the half here. This is Na'Vi's like, chance to recover the half. That, that miracle round. Um, yeah, now they're in a pretty good position to... Try and make something of this half that was looking kind of dire. They really were not having a lot of traction. Interested to see what the adjustments are or what happens differently. Okay, so a little bit more aggressive there from Simple. Manages to get away. Oh, lucky to get the blind shot there. Loses that one. Bit grabs twists over at Banana. So this is a three versus four with only one on the site. SCY takes out Rain. Yep, that's the round over. So a little bit more aggressive from Na'Vi. As you can see there, Simple was fighting more aggressively in middle. Bit went aggressively at the top of Bananas to get the fights. This is what I mean. I don't think Na'Vi do this enough a lot of the time. I think a lot of the time they're way too passive on the CT side on Inferno. And I think it might be because they're a little bit uncomfortable. Like they've switched some spots. And so they're maybe a little bit less comfortable with trying to go more aggressive. But 
when they do it works so bit and simple having a pretty decent game SCY actually doing okay overall on the fraggy front um so that's that's pretty good that's pretty positive electronic having a bit of a stinker but doesn't matter too much right so phase back on the pistolos we're gonna speed through this one a little bit because you know they're probably gonna get piss all done with these sweet fa as we say in the business yep just trying to get some shit happening in banana draining a bit of utility and then they'll probably i think group up and go banana i think b is just yeah here we go by far the best side to hit rops is uh doing a bit of a lurk yeah and then they're just gonna get mowed down and rops is last alive and gets nothing done okay So yeah, Twist has been uh, kind of hard carrying the round wins for FaZe. Na'Vi uh, with a slightly more aggressive approach on that last gun round. Let's see if they go for anything similar here. Na'Vi have a huge bank now. FaZe are going to take a lot to chew through it. Oh, very, very pacey and utility heavy banana. Okay, cool. They get top banana control early. So now they're falling back a little bit because of the potential re-aggression. Na'Vi have tons of nades, so what you're going to see here is probably some sort of retake of the top of Banana at some point with grenades from Na'Vi. Yes, look at the amount of grenades Na'Vi have at their feet. Okay, Na'Vi have actually done really well to um, read this and not dump all their utility on a top Banana retake. Yeah, this is a pretty heavy read by Na'Vi. I like this a lot. This is a really good call from Electronic. He's he's read this very, very well. This is just a hard read, I think. So they got one up on the Flower Pots boost, and now um, Perfecto is a little bit more free to rotate if he wants to. Yeah, as you can see, he's leaning towards CT and ready for this rotate. Faze showing a lot of presence top middle. I would expect this rotate to come very soon. Okay, some flashes. Mm, simple went early on the flash. Probably not the right call there. Yeah, this A bomb site is going to get crunched now. Nice shot from SDY. Probably needed one more though. Although electronic, they might not account for him in this pit. No, they are accounting for him. Should never get two there. Should never, ever get two there. Really nice from electronic. Yeah, Rops was so late again. Just Ooh, nice shot. Do you see what I mean, though? The way Rops plays feels so fucking risky because he he let he was in apps there. He could have been more aggressive in the swing to try and kill Electronic in pit. He lets all his teammates die, and then, yeah, he closes out the round in that instance. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It, 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 it feels so risky sometimes, and it feels like he's not getting it right as often as he, he has in the past, Rops. I mean, he's undoubtedly an incredible player. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say, you know, he's bad or anything. I just think it, towards the end of the season, he was struggling to make make it work. And it, it becomes a bit of a liability, his play style, I think, when it's not working. Or it can become a bit of a liability. I'll say it that way. It can become a bit of a liability, his play style, when it's not working. I mean, you could argue that with anybody when it's not working, they can become a liability. But, like, you know... For an entry frag, if they're just running out and taking space, even if they're not getting any kills, at least they're doing something useful with their life. So that was a good round for FaZe to win. They're still absolutely strapped for cash because it came down to the last two, whereas Na'Vi could probably take another on the chin. Although the the, the money's drained quicker for Na'Vi than I thought it would, I guess because everyone died and no one saved. And Inferno is such a utility-heavy map. Okay, so FaZe have the top and Banana. They're now going silent while they leave Banana. Trying to keep at least two phase members here. And now they're walking back to Banana. It looks like a B finish. To me. Maybe just going to throw some utility and look for some sort of uh, reaction. A bit of a lurk smoke there. Like, I mean, they've kept two here. That's what they wanted to do. Another couple, another little, the little dribble smoke out of apps. SDY puts one at his feet. Good molly, but they're already kind of ahead of it. Simple gets the opener. Probably Na'Vi hold this. They got three here. And FaZe are kind of stuck on short. It's horrible on Inferno A hits when you get stuck on the on the short. 
like that on uh, on lane. It, it, the short lane is is horrific like that. Yeah, when you get stalled out here where they're running around now, it's horrific. Unless you've got someone wrapping long um, who can who can make things happen, it's so horrible to get stuck there. Um, yeah, rounds almost always fall apart, almost always. So Navi stabilize phase obviously back on a guff pack by and this is going to look I think this is going to be rough from here on out now for phase in the half. Um, as you can see, they took a timeout trying to switch some things up. Um, what do I think? I think that the attack was a little bit one dimensional. Um, they like kind of all came up short there, right? Uh, it felt like it was kind of like a, a one prong attack, which probably isn't going to cut the mustard if they've still got three on A. I don't know if they maybe thought that there would be three on B, that they, I think that maybe was a an incorrect read of the situation, that they maybe thought, hey, they've definitely got three on B. Um, you know, we can afford to kind of group up and try and overwhelm like some double pit setup we reckon they'll be running. And when I say double pit, it doesn't necessarily have to mean two in pit, but like two towards like this short kind of area. Because I think Na'Vi may be probably a little bit more prone to doing it because they're trying to give SDY a bit of support. And this is simple for Electronic, for sure. Yeah, this is a straightforward round. Six all, we're tied up. Na'Vi, again, a lot in the bank. Could take one on the chin easily. Phase on the brink, so they need to start winning rounds. Okay, so Na'Vi three towards B early. Pretty standard. Oh, wow, Twists took a lot of utility damage there. That is grim. And Na'Vi have top banana control. I want Perfecto to play a little bit closer. I, I, again, I think I don't, I don't like what Na'Vi are doing on B right now. I would rather Perfecto played a little bit closer. But I guess if a bit dies, then they're just going for some kind of retake setup. Retaking B in Inferno is horrible, though. So I don't know. Maybe it, <laughs> maybe it's just a save if they, if they went heavy B and got a clean entry on bit, to be honest. You know, Perfecto tries to get one, maybe two. Right, so again, they're going heavy on this short thing. I think they've identified SDY as a bit of a weakness phase in this game, and they're going very... They're play, a lot of short plays, a lot of plays up lane to try and put pressure on SDY. But as you can see, again, this is kind of stalled out. Oh, the timing here might be nuts, though. As you can see, uh, Twists might end up around the back of Bit, but I don't think he's going to. Oh, they're not going to account for Bit here. Oh, no, but it doesn't matter because they're already kind of set up in pit. Oh, nice shot from bit, though. Wow, that was a oh, tasty. Oh, Twist is aware, though. But I think he's just going to get on. F Maybe we'll get lucky on the timing, actually. This is such a CSGO round. Like, just timings everywhere. Oh, is Twist, is Bit going to consider this? Yeah, he is. Wow. Yeah, his internal clock was like, hmm, could somebody be about stabbing me here? I don't think you go for the save here, Ops. I think you try and die. Yeah, okay, he doesn't. I was wondering if he was going to just tuck his little ass in pit and try and save, but he uh, made what I think was the correct call to go and die, make sure he gets a loss bonus. But now FaZe get another scuff buy. At least they can get a full buy in the last, but they're going to lose the half here. Um, yeah, probably go for some techers. Maybe try something fast somewhere. Ops goes for a full Galil. I'd rather he just went... Uh, did he have enough for the AK? He had another 700. No, he didn't have enough for the AK, did he? Because the Galil is so damn cheap. Maybe he could have just gone like head armorless and gone for a fucking Galil, though. Uh, uh, AK. I don't know. If you're going to spend down to 700s, I feel like you might as well. Oh, I forgot to go and do not disturb. Ignore. Ignore. Ignore the top right corner. Nothing. nothing you saw nothing there. I'm professional, okay? So, again, back towards this A side. Not a lot of B from FaZe, I think, in general. It's been pretty A heavy. A lot of a lot of heavy, like, three, four people shoving up short, putting SDY under a lot of pressure. Oh, legs. Ah, beautiful, though. Yeah. And uh, just, yeah, they've, they've manipulated no rotations. FaZe have generally struggled when there's been three on A to attack this site. Um, they haven't really found a way to do it. They haven't found the timings uh, to catch Navi watching the wrong way. It was only on the pistol rounds, right? If I remember correctly, that they they managed this, and they had that smoke to section off uh, 
the defender from this side, which I wish they'd use a bit more. I wish they'd use it a bit more. Yeah, just what are you going to do? Yeah. Oh, paused when I meant to speed up. Right, so we got the last of the half. Let's see what we're rocking with. I'm still a bit skimpy on nades for FaZe because of the force they went in the last. Okay, Brokey getting aggressive with the AWP here, though. Trying to make shit happen. He's going to die. Or he's not. One HP. Woo! Woo! Got scary for a minute. That's such bad smoke. I'm swinging that if I'm twists. Yeah, I'm, 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 heading, I'm heading around that half wall if I'm twists. Ah, he decides not to be so brave. Decides because they're in a 4v5, he doesn't need to take the risk. I'm, I'm a fucking mad lad and swinging that. He is way more disciplined than I would be there. I'm not particularly an undisciplined player, but I'm, I'm definitely going around that gap for sure. Okay, so Na'Vi splitting 2-2. Two and two, Unless they're going to do a boost and then go 3-1, which is... I don't know. I'd probably gamble stack if I'm Na'Vi here, but they've decided to go 2-2. Two, two. Gonna get some sort of rotate coming out though. Well, you should at least. Oh, is no one going to count for boost? Please don't tell me nobody looks at boost. That would be criminal. Come on, man. Oh, my God. Oh, perfecto. Oh, he had the round in his hand. Okay, it's it's still probably Na'Vi's, but whoa. Did he get... Tw he got 20 bulleted. Yeah, they win the round anyway. Man, I hate that when teams lose rounds to that boost, man. It happens way... Oh, I just turned cast a camera... Oh, there we go. Spade! Spade! Why do they want... <laughs> oh, come on, FaZe. Grow up. You bunch of kids. They all got fart sprays. All right, simple on his juggernaut P250. Uh, Navi always do this on T-Pistols. And I think it's a good play on T-Pistols to have one guy with an armor and a P2. On pretty much any map. Unless you're intentionally going to do something that's like five glocks, sprinting up banana or some shite, then uh, yeah, it's a play. Yeah, Rops needs to get out of dodge here. Oh, nah. Yeah, Rops. No support. He had no no assistance whatsoever. Uh, I don't know about that one. Simple Rex twist. And this should be a chiller pistol. Oh, Brokey gets one back. Carry on. Okay, okay, okay. It's a weird one. The A side is kind of cut in half, but everyone's here, so it's just about who hits the shots now. Yeah, oh, Brokey gets one. Yeah, Brokey saving the day here. Yeah, Brokey with a big, big, big pistol around there. That was uh, very much on Brokey's shoulders there. He got the, the key frags. Carrigan obviously got one. Um, well, he got two overall, but he got one as they were entering the site. But Brokey um, really was the guy who kicked that off and found the two like very, very key frags that were needed. Very, very, very important. Sorry, I'm just, uh, my dust shield on my PC was coming off. Dust shield, I don't know, it's some mesh that sits over the top. I think it's to stop dust. Oh. Right, what we, what, what, what's popping? What we got? Na'Vi on absolutely nothing. Okay, uh, we're gonna scudder the through this one. Oh, some, yeah, Na'Vi are, like, just hanging out, doing a, like, fucking existence timeout. Yep, cool. And then they all get mowed down a banana. Yep, glad we didn't bother trying to watch that one. Right. Okay, simple on just a deagle. Why did he have to take that hit? Was there some forcing that happened that I missed? That is very sus, and I'm very displeased by it. Uh, that that is not does not make me happy seeing simple on a deagle on a buy round. Um on your first buy rounds. I guess it's the bonus from phase, so maybe they're bearing that in mind that it's going to be a bonus round from phase, and so maybe they can afford to take a hit. I still don't like it. I think that's kind of garbage. I don't know what Simple did in the last round that meant he couldn't buy this round, but whatever it was, don't do it again. That's my advice to you, bud. I want the best player in the world on a rifle on our first gun round. Whatever the fuck you did here is dumb. You might be the GOAT, 
but that was dumb. Right, what's popping? It looks like we're gonna see some B thingamajigger here. Yeah. Oh, good time flash. Yeah. Oh, he jumping headshot him. That's so sad. He didn't finish anyone off. He got the jumping dink. He didn't know how many there were, so I think he was a bit scared to wide, wide swing after that dink, but he, he probably should have, obviously, in retrospect. A nice rotate call from FaZe here, though. Very, very nice. Oh, Brokey, don't be so passive. No. Oh, you scuffed it. It was a good call, and he ruined it. Oh, no. Why? Why did he doubt himself? The call was made, and then he just completely doubted himself. Oh, Rops with two, though. Mm, not enough. Not enough. It looked like Rops maybe would recover that round. Ah, that's so sad, man. Why did Brokey change his mind? I'd love to know what went on on the comms there that made Brokey stop. Because it was the right call. It was the right call. They'd made such a smart call, and then they, they for some reason, gave up on it. I don't know whether Brokey himself decided, or if Carrigan, who, but... Or if Rain called Brokey back. Uh, was it... Was it Rain that was with him? Or was it Carrigan that was with him? I don't know. I'm dumb. Uh, they recover an AK, though. Ah, it's not like the end of the world as round losses go, but it's pretty frustrating. I don't think there was any need to lose that round. Oh, sorry. If I keep going to my nose, uh, I have hay fever. And, yeah, my nose is itchy as fork meat. But I got to have the window open because it's hot. And this PC is singeing the hairs on my legs right now. Righty-ho, then. What have we got? What are we doing? Navi's buy is still scuffed. Is there a rifle somewhere? No? What are Navi doing? Are they, like, dropping money? down the like, electronic had enough to drop why are they doing this i'm so confused electronic has enough i don't know what navi are doing with their two-side economy here i i they're like like one pistol that's the secret t-side strat on inferno apparently just one person with a pistol it gives you like a 10 percent buff or something i don't know i'm a bit bamboozled this is almost like the time Big saved after winning a round. I don't give a fuck what seven heads, ten dimensional mathematical chess you're playing. That's never the call. Oh, there we go. Nice, 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 nice. Free kill through the smoke. Nice utility spam combo there. Definitely communicated between the two of them. I like it. It's nice. Now what are we going to see? It looks like Na'Vi are just going to go for Old Faithful and head back to B. When in doubt, fuck it. We can get right up close to the B site. They've probably given up Top Banana this late in the round. So let's just head back to B. Pretty much how Inferno goes. Like, ah, we don't know what to fucking do. Just go B. We can get nice and close and at least run out onto the site and feel like we did something. Perfecto with a good entry. Bro oh, Brokey, that's a very wide swing. Ugh. That struck fear into me art there. I think he realized though when rain goes down for free oh what how's that not kill what how did that tag him was that through the fountain brokey is getting so close <laughs> on like all of these bit has got balls of steel just hanging out there even though he's getting spammed tear fork orps and rifles trying to spam him rops obviously arrives super late to the party he's like boys i was lurking Okay. Oh, Carrigan with a good frag. Nope. Yeah, nope. 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 B is so hard to retake on in front. Nice shot, though. Oh, go on. Another. Give it to me. Yes. Oh, oh. Does he keep the AWP away? Oh, he did. Good work, Brokey, to keep the AWP away. Good uh, exits to keep the economy. As you can see, the economy is still a bit scuffed for... Uh, they buy the Mat 10. I was rolling my eyes for a second of the Mat 10 purchase because I was like, I'm going to have to drop. But it's fine. It's, uh, I forgot that it would be phase echoing. So let's just scudder do through this because nothing interesting will happen. Phase go for a B stack. Navi will not walk into it. No. Oh, Twist does get one though. That could have encouraged Navi to go B. That looked for a second like it could have been a thing. They get the Deagle, but everyone fucking dies. Right, cool. On to the next one. 
Okay, so let's just take stock here. Bays are up against ropes economically. This is looking like the back end of the first half where they just can't really get any traction and their coffers always seem to be empty so they can never take a round loss on the chin. Navi, okay, now they're starting to get... Mm, SEY still has to buy, so okay, they're not going to have the most cash in the bank, but they probably got enough to take one on the chin and get some sort of scuffed buy together in the following, especially if they save. So this is still in the balance. It's a 12-8 score, um, but it's still in the balance here. It's not It's not by any stretch that Na'Vi are like home and dry, four rounds lead, you know, economic advantage right now. But it, it's not it's not clean cut. It's not clean and dry, as you can see. So SDY can't buy in the next if they lose. Perfecto can get like a scuffled buy. It'd be okay. Yeah, they can. Na'Vi can do something in the next if they lose. Um, but after that, they'd be taking a, like a full eco on the chin. So, like I say, if FaZe win this one, then there's all the chances. Because Na'Vi would not have, like, everything, everything in the next. And like I say, Inferno is a very utility-heavy map. So, pretty heavy default towards A here. Um, FaZe still have the top of Banana. They're not seeing anything at all. So, I think FaZe are going to rotate one as they are right now. Um, this is a bit weird, like, just very... Bit of a weird round from Na'Vi there. I'll be honest with you. Looked like they thought they had a read on, like, A would be understaffed or something, because there'd be a gap in the A defense, but it was totally wrong, and they basically just gave a frag free. Karen gets his head ripped off, though. Yeah, now Twist is kind of stuck. Oh, I can't believe he gets a frag there. That is so good from Twist there, man. He was dead to rights, and he actually managed to make a frag work somehow. Because that was looking a little bit dicey. For a second. FaZe were kind of all tucked away, very passive, and kind of looked a bit scared. But then at the right time, everybody activates, gets the frags. So good job. Simple in a winnable 1v2 for sure. Definitely got a molly. So he could try mollying Rops out here. Oh, look how good the crosshair placement was when he 360'd there. Well, 180'd, sorry. In, in the... Yep. Ah, yes, unlucky. He, uh, he didn't have much time. If he had, a, like, ten more seconds, he probably... Even five more. He probably waits for Rops to, to swing there. Or waits to see. He doesn't know Rops is in there for sure, but... And he probably gets that and turns it into a 1v1, but he was just so low on time. I think he wanted to get out on the site nice and quick. And also, once he throws the molly, the second player now knows, like, where you are. So, you know, he thought he had a window to, like, jump out while Rops is getting out of the molly. It, it's a nice try from Simple. It's a nice try, for sure. Okay, as I said, now Na'Vi have to take a scuff by. They got decent utility, though, to be fair. They took a couple of, um, like, shortcomings on the weapons. Oh, Carrigan, though. You see what I mean? Na'Vi never do this shit. Like, look at this shit, man. Everyone's like, what the fuck is going on? Like, do that every now and then, Na'Vi. You don't have to play so standard all the time. Because you'll just get you'll, you'll get a free round out of it. I'm telling you, man. Na'Vi never do any of this type of shit on their CTE. And now look at them. They're bamboozled. SDY doesn't know where anyone is. He doesn't know where he is. He's like, am I on dust? Okay. Bro <laughs> Brokey made a bit of a struggle that duel. Uh, they know where Bit is, man. 100%. And uh, DP, they know where Bit is. Why is Brokey going all the way back to the B side the wrong way? Yeah, he's changed his mind. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck that was. Like, you don't... Karakans doesn't need help, man. He can just spot Banana and... and... You know, chuck a molly and shit. Yeah, I don't really know where Brokey was going there. He just randomly was like, I go B, but I'm going to go the long way. Oh. Yeah, well played by Carrigan. Exactly. Spot. Nade. Could have used the molly, but he decided to go with the old uh, schmuck. I, I probably would have used molly and then run all the way back onto the B site and then smoked off when the molly's timed out. But... That's a super safe play. Carrigan was being a man. I respect it. Put some respect on the name. Right. What is... What What? what, what we got? We got 3A, 2B. No 3B early. Okay. So they're not expecting anything speedy speedy towards B. It looks like it's going to be pretty speedy speedy towards Top Banan. Rain is lost. He's never seen less in his life. Still gets all the kills. Fuck you, mate. Absolutely just squished that. Yep. Navi are like, shit, time out. What the fuck's going on? They got some money. They can they can do like a 
It's bare bones, but they can get like smoke and flash on everyone. Yeah, they take a couple of Galils to get full utility. Okay, cool. Four B early from phase. Okay, so they uh, thought they might have a read on Navi trying the same round, but with guns. Especially because Navi saw that there were only two in Banana, so maybe, you know, they'd go for it again. Nice from, from FaZe, just it, it, they ended up losing nothing for it. Um, the, oh, perfecto, yeah, well, I don't know why he was trying to stand in that. That seems scuffed tier 4. See, FaZe a lot more willing to get aggressive down the bottom of Banana, and, and this is why... I, I'm preferring the CT side so much from FaZe. So many so much more variety to the way they're appro approaching it. One for one doesn't matter. You've wasted so much time. They're going to be down to like 50 seconds on the clock. No utility for Rain, to be fair. It would be nicer if he had some. But Rops has moved over. No, Rops hasn't. Brokey moved over. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cool beans, cool beans. Mm, I wish Twist and Brokey weren't so far away. Uh, Twist and Rops weren't so far away from each other. I don't like them being um, on the opposite sides of the site here. Yeah, Twist moving now, I think, to get into a better spot. He's going to go towards B. Oh, I don't think you need to go 3-1 here. I think just go 2-2 two and two in a 4v4. And just, you've got to rely on yourself being able to trade out at least into a 3v2. Yeah, I think this was a bit of a bad call. Because now, okay, Rops gets one though. Oh, two. Okay, yeah, cool. Rop, Rops, Rops. Oh, okay, probably didn't want to swing there. Probably once your mate goes down, you need to tuck and let your teammates come. It was a great play up until that. I think he was feeling himself. I think he was feeling. He's like, yeah, I'm going to fucking headshot all these idiots. Come on then. Nice, nice from Rain, baby. Yeah, that's a sick retake, bro. Nice, Ooh, that was that was dank. That was dank. I like the steps and then staying crouched. It put uh, Electronico, I think it was, in the corner off a little bit on the jewel. So that was that was nice. That was really really well played from Rain. Just good movement, good 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 clearing of the angles, like the the approach and the method he took to clear the angles, really really good. So uh, yeah, Navi a uh, uh, fucking scuffo by, they're forcing up. Mm, I would have probably taken a partial on the chin and gone for like full AKs because yeah, these these scuffed buys are not filling me with confidence. They've got good utility, they've got two AKs. It's not like and they've got rifles anyway on top of that. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm not hella convinced by these low buys. They have taken a lot, a lot of damage on this banana take as well. And they even got a nade down middle that wrecked a bit a bit. Bit a bit a bit a bit a bit a bit a bit. Good call on the rotate for twists. Um better setup on A, as you can see, they can actually crossfire each other now. They're not on the other side of the fucking map to one another. There's one all rain, full back, full back, full back. Yeah, there we go. Why? Whoa, twists, why? Whoa, brother, relax, calm. <laughs> Fucking dopamine was going. Jeez, why is he swinging just after Rain's run off the angle? Because he knows they're all there. That was weird. I don't know, I'm, maybe I'm not a pro player and I've got a tiny brain, but that's that seemed like a weird peak for me, Twist. Not, not convinced by that one, brother. Oh, Brokey. Oh, yeah. So I remember this one. This is this is just <laughs> oh, this is such good timing from Brokey. My man read this round like a book. He turned his wall hack on for a second. Oh, and look, just mm, mm, oh, oh, beautiful. Twist is there like, thank you. Thank you so much. It's all right, Twist. You were you were good in the first half. You basically got the six rounds on your own in the first half. So, yeah, Navi are like, ah, what do? Don't know. Yeah, kind of only really won off the back of the, yeah, that little like streak of rounds in the middle of the half was like all they got when they kind of scuffed up FaZe's economy. Since then, it's been, uh, oh, sorry. Eh, get rid. Go away. Thank you. Yeah, so another scuffoed buy, but they do have a hero AK on bit, but they forced all the way up. Yeah, but you're just going to have to take another shit buy in the next... Why? Navi's economy management has been guff-pap this T-half, man. It's actually been shit. I've been really, like, 
not impressed with some of these economic decisions. Just scuffed as fuck, man. Uh, it just looks like tilt almost. Yeah, and now, and now look, Bit's got shit money. Like Simple's not got the best. Yeah, you got to take another song out because you got to figure out what you're doing with this scuffed money. Yeah, Bit has to take a Mac Ten. It's not that bad. Bit has to take a Mac Ten. And they're only lacking one nade short on Simple. I just don't know why though. You don't need to. There's just no need. Why not have full AKs in this round? They're going to go and win this round now after I've said all this. Yeah, SDY kills Rops pushing really aggressively on his lonesome. Okay. I would prefer that with some support. Nice from Carrigan though. Nice from Carrigan. Just have real guns, Navi. Stop. Stop just one person randomly buying a fucking AK or a Galil or some shit in a round where you're not going to do anything anyway. Just have the full... Like, there's just no need. You give yourself, like, plus 1% in a round that's so low percent anyway, and then you take away 5% in a round that should be, like, much more in your favour. Not in your favour, but much more even. We're going to skip through the rest of this because, yes, yeah, it's just rain cleaning up. Rain, Rain's hit some crispy shots on this CT side, man. So this is match point. Another scuffed buy for Na'Vi. Their economy management has been terrible, this T-Hoff. Um, yeah, not, not for me at all, the way they've decided to manage this economy. Not for me at all. Maybe against the lesser team, okay, but not against FaZe, man. Oh, electronic, really, really nice there. Okay, uh, that's that's the round. That's just safe, just safe. Yeah, what I... Do you see what I mean, man? Rops... I don't know. The, the rounds he's died, it feels like they're dumbass deaths a lot of the time. I don't know, he just doesn't, just doesn't feel like he's reading the game anywhere near as well. I think... It, I don't want to be overly harsh on him because he's one of the best players in the fucking world. He's such a good player. He's so smart. He's amazing aim. We've seen insane highlights and he's transformed face this season. So I don't want to take too much away from him. He's had such a successful season, but yeah, I don't know. I've just hold him to a very high standard and I don't think he really hit that much in the back half of the season. Ooh, nice little exit from Brokey. Brokey, king of the exit frags, man. He get, he's been getting mad exit frags from there. Oh my god, twists. I don't know what happened there. Did your mouse slip off? Did you run out of mouse map? Right. Uh, okay, so still goodbye from for everyone now. Finally, we've actually got like everyone on full cash monies. None of this like, oh, I've got a uh, tech nine because I bought an AK last round. Whoops, misclick. Nah, everybody's got all the gear. All the gear and all the idea. Okay, so Battle for Top Banana traded a lot of util. I'd say FaZe are still in a decent spot with their util and such. Um, only need one round. Yeah, gimmick boost. Let's go. Carrigan's just going to sit there with the molly. If he hears steps, he's going to lob it, try and section off the attack a bit. Hopefully, the guy who runs out first ahead of the molly just gets headshot by rain. It's 4v5. You're all good. That's the idea for FaZe here. For Na'Vi... Fuck it. Everyone B. Go. Uh, they got SDY lurking mid, I guess. But Yep, sectioned it off. Okay, they're going to smoke it and go. This smoke's a bit awkward for Rain, actually. He gets one. Falls back. Carrigan gets one. Good from Perfecto. Good from Rain. This should be a phase win. 3v2 retake. Bombs out in nowhere. And they're across pretty quick. A little bit of chip damage. Rops takes on SDY. GG. Just couldn't get clean enough entries uh, coming into the site, Na'Vi. Um, decided to go through the molly. Would I have done that? I don't know, but it was a decisive call. Um, they just weren't ready for the boosts, and then FaZe just made sure to get one more kill. And Na'Vi did, you know. They got that free kill at the start, and then they just traded. Traded out. So, yeah, love it. Good stuff from Da Boy Dem in FaZe Clan. Uh, let's get the scoreboard up. Um, as you can see, pretty even spread across the board, actually, in general. I think Twist was very, very important in the first half to get phase the six rounds that they did get. I think Brokey was, and Rain were probably the two key men on the CT half. Carrigan does what Carrigan does. He just comes up with the impact when it's needed. Rops, 
you know, not super uh, impressive. He had one really, really nice round where he closed with that one tap in pit uh, on T side where he came out very late from apartments to trade. As for Na'Vi, uh, SDY really struggles on this map for them. Just full stop. I just don't think he's very comfortable on CT, although his CT half was better here than it has been previously, to be fair to him. It was actually his T half that was pretty fucking woeful. Um, you know, I wish I could see his performance because it, to me, it looked like CT was much better than T. Um, Bit as well has not been doing so great on Inferno recently. I think he uh, hasn't looked super comfortable towards Banana. Um, so I think there's definitely a lot of work for Na'Vi to do on their Inferno. I wouldn't be surprised if they came back next season with a different setup on Inferno. Maybe not SDY and Pit. Maybe SDY towards B with Perfecto and Bit towards uh, A and Pit. I, I would probably make that swap. To me, that seems more natural for those two players. Like having SDY on the small site. Um, you know, Perfecto is more than good enough to step up and SDY can be the more supportive player on B. Um, I don't know, though. Perfecto is like a hard anchor for Na'Vi on like every site he plays on CT. So maybe he doesn't want to play B Rotator, but just let SDY play B Rotator. Like just just put SDY on B with Perfecto and put Bit in Pit. Like Bit is one of the best headshot players in the world. Why is he not playing Pit if you're moving Electronic out of it? Anyway, um, apart from that, I think FaZe's uh, just much more dynamic CT side was what won them the day here. And just putting together that really nice streak on the start of T side. Um, they seem to struggle. They, they put a lot of focus on A, I think, towards the back end of that T half. And they seem to struggle to get the trades and find a way to attack the site, like split it correctly to, to get the trades and to actually get on the site. Uh, and I think SEY having a better game than usual on A probably meant FaZe's game plan fell a little bit flat on their T side. But they had such a good streak at the start that it was enough and they were pretty convincing on their CT side, to be honest, um, except for this little streak of rounds. Um, and one of them was a bit one of them was a bit of a miracle round, right? I'm not I'm not making that up. It was like here when well, one of these, I feel like Navi was on a super scuff by. Anyway, fuck it. I've made my points. You get it. I'm King Demps. Subscribe if you don't, dickhead. If you do, love ya. And uh, yeah, see you for more of these bad boys.